I am going to replace the uh, serpentine belt today on the uh, 2014 Ford Flex. Should be the same on all of the Ford Flexes with the normal Taurus motor. It should be the same on all Tauruses for that matter. It's a good preventative issue. I don't have any problems with it, but I've got 135,000 miles on the car. I don't know if it's ever been replaced. And those belts, if they break, is, can leave you dead on the side of the road. So uh, anything that I can do to prevent that from happening for little or no cost of time, uh, I think it's probably worth doing at a certain point. I think other flexes have a big plastic cover. Mine never came with one. But over here on the passenger side is the uh, serpentine belt, which is down below here. It's going to be really hard to show much, but the serpentine belt runs the alternator, which is right here. It goes down to the crankshaft pulley, which is down below there. And then I suppose it goes over to the air conditioner compressor there. And the thing that keeps it tight is this thing right here, which is the tensioner. Uh, I think that normally you'd want to replace that. They're about 50 bucks. But since that's not something that's going to catastrophically leave me on the side of the road. It's, if it gets weak, it's going to just let the belt start slipping, and I don't have that problem. I'm going to keep that in place. There's only three bolts, really, to take that off. It, should, it wouldn't be that tough, but I'm going to leave it on there. I don't want to spend the money. It looks like this has got a big hole, a square hole in the end. I think you can put a 3 8 inch wrench on that to release the tension on the belt to help get it off. So let's try that. Now, I bring it up far enough. I'm going to stick a pipe in it over the end. Just put so a, a bar over the top of it to give me a little more leverage and also so I've got a place to put this bungee in there. And I'm just going to bungee this down so that it doesn't move. All right, there you can see the belt. And it does actually look pretty loose in there as it is. Um, I'm going to just try to work that off now that I've got this um, tension off of it. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to show much, but let me see how hard it is to pull that off. I'm going to start with the alternator pulley, because that looks the easiest. Uh, and that was super easy. I just used this thing, and I just scraped it back, and the belt came right off the alternator. Now, I should be able to just pull that off. Uh, the other two pulleys, and then go get a new one. Let's see. Okay, I just... That was simple. I mean, that's... That's about a five-minute job, if that. I guess that four minutes to find the tools. And So I went to my auto zone, and this is the belt that I got here. Uh, Duralast 650 K6. And it's an exact match for this uh, Ford one, which here's the part number on that. That is Motorcraft. It looks like ET4E86220. AB6P. Hey, 6PK1140. This is 1145. Hmm. Hmm. I double check that. They appear to be all identical. Um, it's hard to tell exactly, but the same width, same length, same number of ribs. We'll go with it. It was uh, $15. I'm going to see with my phone if I can get down in there. I'm just sorry that I can't really show very much, but let's see if I get it. So you can see the alternator there, and then that's the... Oh, down there's the crankshaft pulley, crank pulley, and then back there is, I believe, the air conditioner compressor. So those are the three things, and then this thing right here is the hole that your socket goes into, and that's a tensioner. And you can see if you need to change it, it's just three bolts, and it's easy enough to change. So let's put the new belt on. All right. I know you... Because you can't really see anything, I'm not even going to try, but 
Let's just do it, do it in real time, see how long it takes. Having never done this before, like you probably, let's see if I can get it around the air conditioner. I actually just finished up and I can tell you yeah. that if you knew the tricks and technique that I will tell you in this video, it should only take you about five, 10 here. minutes. So because of, I didn't know what it's I was tight, doing. It took hard. me a little bit longer and I had to struggle a bit, but that was just because I didn't know uh, sort of a technique for putting the belt on, which is simple. And I'll show you how to do that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I got to, I got to pull my tensioner pulley back again. I got it underneath okay. there. Uh, let me just show you what's going on here, if I can. See, the belt is sort of getting, here's how close we are. Yeah, you get it over most of that, but I'm just having a little trouble getting it over just the edge right there. I almost want to just turn the engine over and see if it pops on, but uh, let's make sure I got it. Looks like it's good down there. There, yeah, it's on the right place. And it comes over this tensioner pulley, and I think I'm just gonna try to fight with it for a little bit and see if we can just get this final edge just a little bit. All right, I think I've had a bit of a breakthrough here. I, I just on there's a couple of bolts that hold this um, reservoir in. It just gives you a little bit more extra space, and then instead of trying to Put it on on one side first. I kind of slipped it on straight across. And I think it's going to go now. All right, that's it. Let me give it a try. Yeah, uh, it's totally worth just taking these two bolts out to give yourself quite a bit of extra room. Instead of trying to get in between here, this just shifts back a few inches, which gives you a lot more range in there. I mean, you know, give it a try. If you've got little arms, <laughs> you might be able to get in there, but just taking this bottle off is really simple, and um, that helps a lot. Well, that's it. Um, I'm gonna just throw this into the back of the car. You never know when you're out on the road. If you were to break it, you got an extra. Uh, I would say that's a, about a three on a scale of one to 10. Um, a little tight in there, but it's nothing you can't handle. Um, I think you should give it a try. Good luck. Now there's room to just slip this belt right in there. So if you ever need it. And as long as you've got that spare exposed, Check its tire pressure, make sure you got 60 pounds of pressure in there so you're ready for any emergency.